Morning, Tyson. Uh, a lot of people obviously focused on Connor getting 100. He did. Uh, for you, you got a chance to lead all defensemen in scoring. You're a point behind, and uh, you got more games left. I mean, does that cross the guy's mind at all? At this, I realize you're focused on you know elevating your your team's play, but you can't ignore those numbers, can you? No, I think it's definitely something you you know you want to you want to hit, and um, it's probably. Uh, a product of you know, obviously you saw Connor get his hundred last night, so or last game. So um, it's been a it's been a you know a ple pleasure to play with him and, and Leon this year, and um, you know get to work that power play with him. So it's uh, it's uh, it'd be cool to to be able to do that. But um, you know our, our most important thing is is you know getting our team playing the right way for for uh, round one. From uh, your perspective, when you when you looked at, at coming to Edmonton in the off season. Could you envision it going the way it's gone this year for you? Uh, I mean, that was kind of the that was kind of the the thought process and the goal was to to be able to come to a, a team that was, you know, obviously looking to break out and and try to win and um, you know with the world class talent on this team, it was, uh, you know, that was kind of the 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 thought process on why I wanted to end up here and. Um, I'm grateful that uh, I was able to get the opportunity to come and, and get the opportunity to to, to play and, and play some uh, important minutes. Josh Clipperton, Canadian Press. Hey, Tyson, just a little bit bigger picture question. Uh, there was some relaxations on COVID protocols announced over the weekend for, for vaccinated teams and players. That's obviously not the case in Canada. <laughs> Wondering what you're feeling on that. Are you, are you happy for the guys down south? A little bit of FOMO? Or are you jealous? Yeah, I think it's awesome. Um, you know, there's a lot of teams down there that are vaccinated now, and um, you know, we've been in these protocols for a long time. So, uh, if it's safe and and uh, you know everyone's able to do it, then a absolutely, it's uh, exciting times to be able to get back out there and and support some businesses and and you know try to get this uh, this thing back uh, on track. Is it on, on one? I'm not sure if competitive balances or advantages the right word, but is there sort of a, a worry or is there a concern about a two tiered playoff system where you know guys down south can bond, play golf, go for dinner, and you guys are still stuck in your rooms, you know, 24 7 for lack of a better word? Uh, I mean, the, the bonding, I think, is uh, it would have been nice a lot throughout the year, but now it's you know, your playoffs is kind of the time of year where you're just kind of staying in your room anyway and, and getting dialed in and focused. And I don't think it changes too much. And, um, you know, we got a tight knit team here, so uh, we'll be we'll be OK in that respect. And, um, you know, when playoffs come around, it'll be all business. So uh, for as far as time of year, it would have been probably nice to have that those relaxed protocols a little earlier. But now it's uh, it's all it's all business. Thank you. Rob Dijkowski, Post Media. Hi Tyson, it's not really typical for a goaltender to be one of the emotional leaders on a team. Uh, what about Mike Smith allows him to be that guy? Yeah, Smitty's uh, he's a he's an incredible, incredible guy. He's uh, passionate. His intensity is it's kind of follows him with everything he does. It's uh, you know it's not just on the ice. Any sort of game or competition you find yourself in with him off the ice too it's it can it can end in a it can end in a fight or, or whatever but um he's ended up being a good buddy of mine and uh he's such an important part of this team the way he plays and the way he leads and um i think just his his passion he brings to every game is pretty infectious so um we're, we're lucky to have him so between periods say you guys you know come out to a bad start is he one of the guys that is that is doing the talking and saying hey hey that that's not good. definitely that's yeah good. he's yeah he's been around a long time he's Played with a lot of great players and a lot of good teams, so he's uh, he's kind of the one pointing us in the right direction when we're, you know, maybe not doing it ourselves. So um, again, we're lucky to have him, and uh, he's a big, uh, big part of the leadership and big voice in our room. Thank you, Ryan Rashog, TSN. Tyson, with the time that you have left, um, you know, your playoff spot is sewn up. Is there any balance between, you know, making sure that from a fatigue standpoint and a health standpoint, you're good to go? versus needing to be playing really good hockey when you hit the playoffs and how do you I mean is it full out from here to the end or how do you how do you balance that uh I think it's probably a bit different guy to guy if you're you know if you're if you're battling something or you're got some bumps and bruises maybe you you know you take a take a night off or take a little easier but other than that I think um, you know, you're trying to play and, and have your game at the top of uh, at the top level before you're you know you're dropping the puck on game one. And 
hockey's an, a weird one where you can't just you know kind of turn it on. So you got to be you got to be confident. You have to be feeling good about your game and where you're at and and your game shape. So I think it'll be at least for me it'll be a you know a, a process of of trying to play every you know these last three games the right way and and trying to get myself ready. So it's uh, it feels pretty you know smooth going into playoffs. It was, um, I mean, it was something on the weekend, the way Connor pulled that game out and, and hit that milestone. Um, what did you sense in him in the days kind of leading up to that? And, you know, I know it's only been a day, but do you think it's it's kind of good that's behind him now and he can stop answering questions about it? It's kind yeah. Of, kind of done with now? Yeah, I'm not sure there's any, I mean, he's been, he's been so focused and his preparation is, you know, incredible all year. And I don't think that that changed in the last, you know, week or two. I think that's just you know why he was able to put himself in the position to get to 100 points, and um, it's probably it, it probably is nice for him just to you know kind of put it behind him. Um, I, I think that you know there was a lot of focus on it, media focus and stuff, and um, I'm sure he probably it was a nice feather in his cap, but he's probably just glad to have it over with and now just focus on getting ready for you know for the playoffs. Daniel Nugent Bowman, the Athletic. I apologize if, you, if this has been asked that a little late logging on here. I, I just wonder what Darnell Nurse has meant to your your season and your career uh, this season. Yeah, I mean, Nurse, he's, uh, in, in my opinion, he's got to be right near the top for, for Norris this year. I think he's been outstanding all year. He's been playing huge minutes, PK, power play. He's been putting up big numbers, scoring a lot of goals, and um, he brings it every night, and he's a, a physical guy, and but he also skates super well and moves the puck, and it's been, uh, you know, it's been a, an absolute pleasure for me to get to play with them, and um, I think we complement each other nice. And uh, it's, uh, yeah, I can't say enough about uh, Nursey and and how much he's helped my game and um, how much he's helped our team and, and just uh, what he brings every night. It's it's pretty impressive. So I'm not uh, I'm not sure there's anybody who's really doing more for their team on the back end than Nursey is this year. So you say that you guys complement each other very well. Is there something that he does that allows you to to kind of do what you do uh, well on the ice to get the most out of what you you can bring to this team. Well, I think I think he's obviously a, you know he he's a interesting player because he's he's so good defensively, but he's also you know he's pushing the pace, he's jumping in the play, he's moving the puck well, he has great hands, and um, he's kind of got all the tools. So for me, it's nice we can you know we can get the puck up the ice really quickly, and we can both join the play, and um, it's just. Uh, I mean, I don't think there's anything he does that complements my game as much as uh, I think his game would kind of complement anybody's game. He's uh, he's he's a great guy to play with. He's an easy guy to play with. He's always, you know, he'll cover up, you know, some of my mistakes. And um, he's also able to move the puck up and, and get it over and, and create some offense himself. So uh, just very, uh, very well-rounded player. And, um, you know, I just, uh, I think I'm lucky I get to be the guy on his right side. Great. Th thank you. Thanks. Jack Michael, 630, Chad. Tyson, as someone who's played with the elite of the elite in the last six or seven years, have you learned or discovered a, a next level aspect to Connor's game that, that would separate him in your mind? Yeah, I, I think his, uh, I mean, it, there's, it's tough. I think everything that he does is, is so, so incredible, but his skating, his speed, the, the, the way he's able to put himself in positions and, you know, he kind of chips himself the puck and is able to, you know, set himself up for the next, you know, to beat the next guy is it's, it's like nothing I've ever seen. And, um, he's so quick, but the scary thing about him is he's always putting himself in positions to, you know, to have a chance to score, but he's always, I think he's looking to shoot or pass first. So it's, uh, it's pretty incredible. And he's, you know, every night it seems like he's, you know, kind of pushing the pace of the game and and you know he's on the scoreboard every night and um you know two three three points and it's uh I, I don't know if you'll I mean we're in it right now but once you I think you got to take a step back and kind of just marvel at what he's done this year is pretty incredible so uh I think he's obviously separated himself this year is kind of the the in, in the number one spot and solidified that pretty uh pretty heavily so it's uh it's incredible to watch every night Thanks, Tyson.